The deployment of the new Precision Strike Missile, PRSM, by the U.S. Army is getting closer following a successful short-range test conducted this week at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. Both the service and the prime contractor, Lockheed Martin, have confirmed this development. The U.S. Army revealed that the weapon was launched for its first production qualification test flight from the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS. The service wrote, Preliminary results from the test show the Precision Strike Missile Increment 1 missile performed nominally in terms of predicted flight trajectory, lethality, near vertical engagement angle, and height of burst. A final flight test report is anticipated in December 2023. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Precision Strike Missile is shaping up. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. PRSM is a priority program and is intended to replace the Army Tactical Missile System or Army TACMS. Army Tactical Missile System is a surface-to-surface -surface missile, also manufactured by Lockheed Martin, the Army TACMs can be fired from M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System MLRS, and M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS. The first use of the Army TACMs in a combat capability was during the Persian Gulf War's Operation Desert Storm, where a total of 32 were fired from the M270 MLRS. The limited range of 190 miles or 300 kilometers has paved the way for the development of PRSM. While the PRSM development program started out as a competitive effort between Lockheed and Raytheon Technologies, the latter left the competition in early 2020. Similar to Army TACMs, PRSM will be compatible with M270 MLRS and HIMARS. The original intent for PRSM was to reach a maximum of 499 kilometers, but America's 29 withdrawal from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces, or INF, treaty with Russia has allowed the U.S. Army to develop the missile with greater range. INF treaty was signed by Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev in 1987. It banned ground launch missiles with ranges of 500 kilometers to 5,500 kilometers that is 310 to 3,420 miles. The INF Treaty eliminated around 2,700 nuclear and conventional missiles, as well as their launchers. This was achieved by May 1991. This included short-range missiles with 310 to 620 miles, or 5,000 to 1,000 kilometer range, and intermediate-range missiles with 620 to 3,420 miles, or 1,000 to 5,500 kilometer range. The treaty had provisions for 10 years of on-site inspections. INF Treaty went a long way in ending the serious standoff between U.S. Pershing and cruise missiles and Soviet SS-20 missiles in Europe. Lockheed said in a separate statement that it cannot disclose the distance the missile flew to hit the target but that it was the shortest range flown to date, at less than 85 kilometers or 52 miles, thus demonstrating the system's continued accuracy from launch to impact. While not PRSM's primary mission range, the short-range flight represents the most stressful, dynamic environment for the missile as it maneuvers at hypersonic speeds to align to the target, the company wrote. This test verifies structural integrity of the missile and trajectory control. Colonel John Rafferty, 
the director of the PRSM program, had said earlier, We've worked with our industry partners to determine what is the feasibility going farther than 499 kilometers, and we believe that it's entirely possible to go further with the current PRSM missile. Our discussions about advanced propulsion leads us to believe that inside the same form factor, with a change in propulsion, we could go significantly farther. PRSM Increment 1 is meant for surface-to-surface -surface warfare and was being designed to take on targets such as air defenses and troop fortifications. The U.S. Army is also eyeing enhanced versions of the weapon, including an Increment 2 with a multi-mode seeker known as the Land-Based Anti-Ship Missile LBASM, seeker. This seeker will enable it to engage moving targets, including rivals, surface combatants, and seas. PRSM Increment 3 would add in enhanced lethality payloads. Earlier this year, the service enlisted both a Lockheed Martin team and a team comprised of Raytheon Technologies and Northrop Grumman to collaborate on competing designs for PRSM Increment 4. These designs aim to achieve a flight range exceeding 1,000 kilometers or 620 miles, potentially doubling the range of the current version. PRSM is a much-needed weapon for the U.S. Army, especially since the geostrategic situation changed for the worse in the last two to three years. Should the final test report also provide positive feedback, the service can commence the acceptance of early operational capability missiles by the beginning of 2024. Russia was in violation of the INF Treaty and has already manufactured missiles like Novator 9M729. Chinese rocket forces has more than 2,000 ballistic and cruise missiles, almost 95% of which would violate the INF Treaty if China were a signator. PRSM will place the U.S. military on a level playing field. The missile, placed in Europe, will be able to threaten Russian strategic and tactical assets. Similarly, the missile, if made available to Taiwan and Japan, will be a strong counter to China. Importantly, the missile could be used to take on Russian and Chinese warships, which are increasing in number and also improving in quality. Overall, it can be deciphered that PRSM can add a lot of flexibility to American forces as well as allies. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.